When I train clients for banks, one of the biggest frustrations is being shown products or ideas that simply aren't suitable, they're not appropriate, they're just not what the client wants. Normally clients want to keep it simple or as we say in the markets, keep it vanilla. What they really want the bank to do is to understand the risk in the day-to-day -day working capital cycle. So let's just see how a working capital cycle would look and where they're going to encounter exposure to currency moves. Well, if you have a factory, what's the first thing you've got to do? You've got to buy the raw materials. Where are you going to buy them from? Well, if you're buying them from abroad, you've got a problem because maybe the supplier doesn't want to be paid in your domestic currency. So let's say, for example, that you're a European country buying from China. You're going to have to sell euros to buy the yuan to buy the goods. Now, be really, really careful here because sometimes some exporters will say, hey, I'm your friend, trust me. And whenever somebody says, trust me, run a mile, they say, I will do the exchange rate hedging for you. So just pay me in euros, I'm your friend. If you want a friend, get a dog. There are no friends in the market. And as we say in poker, if you can't spot the sucker, you're the sucker. And what's probably happening is they're probably making more money off giving you a friendly exchange rate than they are off the margins from the underlying goods. So be careful. So what I would do as a banker is I would say, what's the currency you're exposed to? And now, how long do the contracts run for? So if you have a contract where every month you buy or sell a good for the next, say, two years, be aware that you can actually hedge or lock in your FX rate out to two years. I'll quote you an FX rate for as long as you get interest rates in the underlying currency. So again, if you're European, buying goods from, say, Japan, I can lock in the exchange rate every month out for the next two years. And what that means for you is you can model out your cash flows, lock in your commercial margins, you're fine. Finally, if you have payables and you're buying goods in, you're probably using it with debt. Is the debt in your domestic currency or in a foreign currency? Never take on debt in a currency in which you do not have income, which is the same as that debt. So for example, never take on a yen loan because interest rates are low if you have no yen income. Because if the yen gets stronger and appreciates, you're probably spending more money buying the yen than you would have on paying the higher interest rate on your debt. So just in payables, there's exposure. And as far as a bank goes, 80% of the time a letter of credit is involved for some underlying trade transaction there's probably some foreign exchange exposure as well. Manage the risk.